And this is a common sight we are seeing across Tokyo here in Japan today due to a very severe winter storm. Already seeing widespread traffic problems across the region. Uh, also, uh, just uh, the storm is just really dumping an incredible amount of snow and it is one for the record book. Hi everyone, Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It's my webcast for here on today, Monday, the 14th of January. And wow, my hometown here, this is where uh, the severe weather is taking place. I know I'm not on air at NHK World today. It's because today is actually a holiday. It's coming of age here a day in Japan. There's widespread uh, ceremonies being held, people out and about in their kimonos. But the problem is, is that um, you got this heavy snowfall continuing to hit here in Japan. This is actually a quick look just getting the gist of what's going on across the region uh, you have that cold Siberian air coming down a strong low pressure area came off of China accompanied by a jet stream which is just off the charts here and not to mention an abundant amount of moisture from that storm that's been hitting you down there in the Philippines uh, earlier late last week but now the storm is still affecting here in Tokyo but I expect it throughout the evening hours uh, conditions are going to be rapidly improving as that continues to rush off there towards the Northeast I mentioned actually the jet stream I want to show you this real quick and I'll kind of break it down with you about how strong the jet stream is over top of Japan at this time now JMA actually came out and said there was a 225 knot jet stream I'm seeing wind reports rate around about 100 to 150 even one up here upwards of about 160 uh, knots moving over top of uh, Japan at this time and you have the deep trough pushing through here these high uh, wind barbs just continuing to cruise across the region and that is why we're seeing such a powerful storm system not to mention the winds that are the moisture coming all the way from the south there and that's just over land where you're seeing the snow here but actually out to sea waves are just incredibly high and JMA actually expecting max winds at 80 knots in the next 18 hours due to the storm continuing to push off of Japan here that is that's about a category two pushing a category three equivalent on the Saffron Simpson scale as far as typhoons go. So that just puts in perspective. I feel sorry for anybody out there right now. I've actually been out over the ocean back in my Navy days um, when we had about 60 to 70 knot winds. I can only admit 80 knot windstorm would be just off the coast of Japan here. So this is where the storm is going to be. Uh, a rate around 2100 Japan standard time here on the 14th. Starting to pull away. You still have that wraparound moisture. So still expect that snow to linger going into uh, the evening hours. But once again it's going to start to rapidly improve this is at midnight the snow starts to taper off here still seeing those gusty winds near the shoreline so up into the Hoku region you're still going to be seeing those winds continuing to pound on shore but one thing I actually mentioned in yesterday's webcast if you watch uh, here every day and if you did watch yesterday and even in the late la now last week you would have known that this snowstorm was coming here across Japan so thank you for everybody who does tune in every day but take a look at the 540 line diving all the way there below Tokyo and off towards the north that's usually the line we use to judge if it's going to snow or not and as you can see here uh, yeah it is well below uh, here and even down there towards Kyushu you're seeing that snowfall continue to push on shore as that cold air continues to dive in from the north so let's take a look here into uh, the next several days as we push across going into Monday uh, or Tuesday morning excuse me that low continues to push off there towards the east but look how deep it really gets and just bombs out as it pushes off there well over the ocean but an incredible low might even get down a rate around 930 HPA behind it though this is going into Tuesday evening things really start to clear up across Tokyo much of Western Japan but once again you see that CFX snow machine turning on here pushing down there towards the south uh, that's going to be bringing you that heavy sea effect snow but also uh, take a look at the temperatures this is on Tuesday night going into Wednesday really just drops off the map here zero degrees uh, as far south as a Kyushu so widespread freeze warnings are going to be in effect across Japan here as those temperatures drop off but look over towards Korea uh, even in towards eastern China temperatures fall right off here but I want to pull back the picture for all my viewers down in uh, Southeast Asia I know you feeling missed out on this webcast today but here's one thing I want to show you is that because of all that cold air infection temperatures for you are maybe getting down into single digits there in the extreme northern portions of the Philippines much of Vietnam you're gonna be dancing down into the low teens uh, even into Taiwan definitely going to be seeing below freezing and for my out in Hong Kong well uh, you're gonna be enjoying the cold weather as well because this is right around 5 to 10 degrees as far south for you uh, even some snow a little bit farther towards the north is going to be expected
All that is just a catalyst of that long frontal area we're seeing attached to our low pressure system off towards the north, extending all the way down there towards the Philippines. Well, that really is separating the two air masses, that cold air mass towards the north, the warm air mass towards the south, and that is why we're going to be seeing those temperatures continue to drop off. So it doesn't look like just Tokyo is being affected by the heavy snowfall here. Across all of Japan, we've been seeing that heavy snowfall, but also much of eastern Asia and the western Pacific in some way or another is going to be affected by the storms. It was we've been talking about for several days now was part of that tropical depression here just towards the east of the Philippines. You had that low pressure area come off China. You also had the jet stream, which was very strong at the time as both of them came up. Uh, they I'll actually show you the map we created a few days ago here, showing you the likelihood of actually becoming rather. Uh, that is all for right now, everybody. I hope everybody is staying safe out there. I hope that uh, you are staying warm if you are currently being hit by this storm system. And if you are enjoying the snow, and if you have some photos or videos, please share them with us. I always enjoy it. We're uh, putting together a photo video compilation on the website of all the different uh, shots. And also click the annotation on the screen. I'm going to put it right in my face, uh, showing um you were to go if you want to see the full and complete footage that we were talking about or we we're showing you just now of the snow here in tokyo so uh thanks for watching though everybody and stay safe out there have a great day